You may have heard about Charlie Parkhurst before, a woman disguised as a man for freedom or fortune, a legendary Santa Cruz stagecoach driver during the California Gold Rush, a treacherous job filled with long travel, rattlesnakes, and bandits. And this is believed to be the only known photo of them. There are a lot of historical documents on Charlie Parkhurst. I'm here at the Pajaro Valley Historical Association where they have a ton of records and documents. But despite all of this, there's still a lot of facts seemingly lost to time, that allowing for a lot of interpretation. After it was discovered, Charlie was born Charlotte. Their story garnered national attention after they died in 1879, and it led to this plaque on a SoCal fire station, where Charlie is believed to be the first woman to vote in a U.S. primary, which gender aside is debated among historians. I think people of all stripes have uh, appreciated this legend. The story is often told through the lens of women's suffrage, but it's also struck a chord among the LGBTQ plus community for its gender non-conforming theme. I think it's just that there was a certain amount of courage shown at a time that that wasn't even really thought of. If you look at at the Stonewall uh, incident happening in 1970, Charlie Parkhurst was doing this 100 years before Stonewall. Over 40 years ago, the first gay and lesbian Democratic club in Santa Cruz was named after Parkhurst. And most recently, they were subject of a pride exhibit at the Santa Cruz Museum of Art and History, co-organized by Rob Darrow. There wasn't the vocabulary in the 1800s, how you identify people then. We've got vocabulary today. Over a century after their life, Charlie's name is engraved throughout the county and their story retold in books in classrooms and libraries. It's a good question to ask for students to think about as well. If Charlie lived today, would Charlie identify as a transgender person? What pronouns might Charlie use? That's the beauty of history. That's the beauty of the inquiry of history that all teachers should be teaching throughout the state. In Watsonville, I'm Christian Balderas at KSBW Action News 8.